Philips Hue is coming out with an all new HDMI sync box and get this, it's 8K. Welcome to the channel, I'm Justin Tech and on here I talk all things Philips Hue, smart home, smart lighting, VR and AR and emerging technology and today we're talking about this all new sync box. I have the old one, I reviewed it and there's a lot to tell you about this one so let's get into it. Ublog reported earlier this year that images were surfaced online of a new sync box. Here's what we can see. First of all, there's a picture of the new device and you can see there is now a bezel on top showing you there's a difference between this sync box and the last one which tells me maybe they will be selling these sync boxes side by side. On the box you can see that it says HDMI sync box 8K. That can tell us a few things. Most likely this one will support HDMI 2.1, which supports 4K running at 120 Hertz. Currently, the sync box available now can't reach 120 Hertz at 4K, it can only support HDMI 2.0. So in my living room, I have the sync box connected to all of my devices, Nintendo Switch, Apple TV, but my PlayStation 5 is not connected because I want to be playing Ragnarok God of War in 120 Hertz and it can't support that currently. So I have this ugly HDMI cord that is just falling down behind my beautiful TV and my cable protector that I have. My cable management is great besides that. So it's very exciting that they are coming out with a new one. But what does this mean for the HDMI sync box now and pricing? Well, the current HDMI sync box is priced at $250. It's not on sale. The fact that they're coming out with a new one and that one not being on sale tells me that most likely the price of the old one could either stay where it is or drop just a bit and be sold alongside this new one. Meaning the new one could theoretically be over $250, which is a huge investment for something that changes the color of your lights behind your TV, which let me tell you, I love, I use it all the time. But when there's competitors out there like Govi who also have TV sync that granted maybe aren't as perfect, when those exist at a much less expensive price, I think that many people may opt for that. I will be reviewing the Govi backlighting TV set very soon. So stay tuned for that on this channel. I also want to kind of compare that to the Philips Hue HDMI sync box and the gradient TV strip that I have on my TV. I reviewed a ton of Philips Hue on here, including that TV strip and the Philips Hue sync box. So make sure to check those videos out. Uh, and I will definitely be reviewing the 8K HDMI sync box when it comes out, so make sure you keep it on here. But what do you think of this device? If you have the current one, are you willing to fork out another $250, $300 for an updated sync box? Let me know. If you don't have this and you are a Philips Hue user, does this device um, appeal to you at all? I'm curious to see if this is just like a niche market or kind of most Hue fans kind of wanting this. I'm sure if you're watching this video, odds are you want it. Lots more coming out on this channel. I've got that Govi review coming up and I've got a smart telescope called the Unistellar that is out of this world, pun intended. Uh, and I'm very excited to review that for you. I've just been waiting for clear skies and it's been smoky because of the Canadian wildfires. So stay tuned for that. As always, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give it a like if you enjoyed it. I've got more smart home VR, AR, emerging tech and lots of cool stuff coming and I can't wait for you to see it. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.